This is Michael Payne, and you're watching MTM TV at Leeds Festival. Aaron McDermott here for MTM TV. Here we have Michael Payne. Michael, how's it going, man? Very well, thank you. Awfully thirsty at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to be drinking during the interview. Good, good. Are you looking forward to tonight's set? Yeah, good. Um, if it's uh, if if Reading is anything to go by, then tonight should go off. How did that go anyway? I don't know. Amazingly, yeah, really, really well. Like better than I expected. To be fair, the turnout was uh, like miles better than I expected. Just yeah. like the whole vibe was sick. Good, man. Well, what do we have looking forward to for Michael Payne? Um, a good set. Uh, full live band, the remedies. Even got like roped in or, uh, one of my managers to uh, guest guitar as well. Wicked. Um, and. Two, I'm going to debut two new songs. Well, not debut them, but because uh, I played them yesterday at Reading. But I'm going to be playing two new songs that no one will have heard unless they were at Reading yesterday or watched the BBC. Wicked man, what are your influences to write music and play music and perform it? Um, influences are like it, you know whatever the song's about is what influenced me basically. Oh, do you have any rituals before going to stage? Do you have any, do anything to get psyched up or lucky things? Or? No, just um, I don't know. Try as best to sort of keep my voice warm. Um, that's literally about it. Yeah, no rituals, man. Okay. What um, What would you say to people, young rappers that try and get to, to get where you are from where they are now? I want to make it. <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> no I'm joking. Um, I'd say I don't know. Like, it's, it's that's a hard one, man. Like, just just keep doing you. It depends. It honestly depends on what what sort of angle you want to go to because like like. Rap is obviously seen as quite a macho thing, do you know what I mean? And, and, and you know, macho people, alpha males aren't ready to take advice as readily as, like, normal people. So, uh, I don't know, just do you, man. Like, if, if you're good enough, someone will notice you. It's as simple as that. You say in uh, Return of Mr. Payne, UFO, uh, shoe collecting UFO town mayor. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite shoe? Of all time. Um, or make or shoe, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really partial to Air Jordans. Um, they're the only ones that I really keep clean. I... I uh, in fact, no, no, do you know what, like, I'd say the, the ones I wear every day, the Stefan Janoski, the, the, you know, the Nike SB Stefan Janoski, because it's a, it's, it's a skate shoe, but I cycle a lot, and I ride fix, so like, the straps, like, they, they fuck up your shoes, basically, so I do love the Janoski, I suppose that is my, my everyday shoe, but, you know, the shoe I covet most would be uh, either the, the, there's too many different models of Air Jordan, the, you know, the ones, the threes, the fours, the fives, the sixes, the eights, yeah. the speeds like, do you know what I mean? Like I love, I love that certain models of Air Jordan. I own a few pairs. Big man. If you if you couldn't write hip hop or be an artist, mm. do you reckon you would write music or would you try and do I'd write, genre? I'd write. I wouldn't write music. I don't write music. I write. I write lyrics. So I'd probably just like for other people write poetry or just yeah write for other people. Big man. If you could sum up Reading and Leeds in one word, what would it be? Um. Sick. Without sounding cliche. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you so much. No it's been a pleasure, man.